This is a very important question in your leave insert ordinary level. It can come up on both papers, paper one or paper two. And it's how to find the point of intersection for a line and a circle. Now, we have studied the equation of the line before, and we've studied the equation of the circle before. So in this particular question here, so here's a circle. The center of the circle is zero, zero, and the radius is five. So that's the, the equation of the circle, x squared plus y squared equals 25. Now then we have the equation of a line, x plus y equals seven. So how do I find the points of intersection between the line and the circle? So in other words, I'm looking for these two points here, the point where the line crosses over to the circle. Now you've done exactly this type of question before in algebra two. So we did this earlier in the year in September in the Algebra 2 chapter. So let's look at this. It's basically a kind of a simultaneous equation, but you don't solve it in the normal way. So you have the equation of the circle, x squared plus y squared equals 25. Then you've got the equation of the line, x plus y equals 7. Now, so what we do is... Um, You've probably heard me saying before that you can't solve any equation that has two unknowns. So get rid of one of the unknowns. So I have x squared plus y squared equals 25. I can't solve that because there are two unknowns. But what I can do is take the equation of the line, and you'll always be taking the equation of the line, and rewrite it. x equals 7 minus y. Now I could rewrite it y equals 7 minus x as well if I wanted. It doesn't make a difference in this question because they're both 1x and 1y. What I can do now is, in this, in this equation here, I can replace x with 7 minus y. It's like a substitution. It's like saying x equals 3. Then you would replace x with 3. Now, so instead of x squared, I get 7 minus y squared plus y squared equals 25. Now I'm going to square out the brackets. So multiply, so 7 minus y squared means 7 minus y by 7 minus y, plus y squared. And I'm going to take this 25 over to the left-hand side, equals 0. So that was just a little bit I used there to get me set up. Now, so multiplying out brackets, 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times minus y is minus 7y. Minus y times 7 is minus 7y. And minus y times minus y is plus y squared. Then I've also got this y squared minus 25 equals 0. So y squared and y squared gives me 2y squared. Minus 7y minus 7y gives me minus 14y. And 49 take away 25 is plus 24. Now, I've got a quadratic equation here because I've got a squared term, a y term, and a number term. So I'm going to use the minus b rule to find y. So y equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So this again is from your algebra chapter and it's from your junior cert as well, so there shouldn't be any, any bother with this. Now, where are a, b and c coming from? Well, a is the number in front of y squared, so a is two. b is the number in front of the y term, so that's minus 14. And c is this number term, so c is 24. Substitute these into the formula now. y equals minus, minus 14. It's good practice to put everything around inside brackets. All you have to do is get these substituted in because once you put, get them substituted in, you can then use your calculator. Minus four times A times C. Okay, so, and that's all over two times A. And this is when you put it into the calculator. So you might remember you can put just the, type the fraction button and, um, so you're just going to type exactly this into the calculator. So minus bracket minus 14 bracket. Now put in the plus first time and then put in the minus. So the square root of minus 14 squared, so bracket squared, minus 4 times a 
times c, and c is 24, close the brackets, 2 times 2. Now, so the first answer I get is 4. To get the second answer then, just change the plus, see up here, the plus, delete that and put in the minus. So this is all just revision from earlier in the year. So I get two answers. I get y equals 3 and y equals 4. However, if I have two answers for y, I will have two answers for x. Now remember this equation up here, x equals 7 to go away y. Well, I'm going to use that. So x equals 7 to go away y. So when y is 4, x equals 7 to go away y. So x equals 7 to go away 4. x equals 3. So the coordinates of the first point of intersection are 3, 4. Now when y equals 3, x equals again 7 minus y. Do you know, in a, remember in a simultaneous equation, when you find the value of x, you have to go then and substitute it in to find the value of y. Well, that's exactly what you do here, except instead of having one value of x or one value of y, you'll have two. So then x equals 4 when y equals 3. So that's the first example there. I'll do another one because I know these aren't easy. So... Um, here's another, so find the points of intersection. So here's the circle and here's the line. The equation of the circle with center 0, 0 and radius the square root of 50. Now this is the equation of the line. So I don't need to draw out any diagrams. But what I do need to do is take the equation of the line and rewrite it. x equals 10 minus 3y. The reason I find x on its own is because it's just 1x here, it's easier to do. Now, tick down this equation. Now that I know x is 10 minus 3y, I can replace x with 10 minus 3y and square it. So it's just the substitution. Now I'm going to square out this bracket. 10 minus 3y times 10 minus 3y. That's what squaring means. 5 squared means 5 multiplied by 5. So 10 minus 3y squared means 10 minus 3y squared multiplied by 10 minus 3y squared. And I'm going to bring the 50 across. So the opposite of adding 50 is subtracting 50. Now, 10 by 10 is 100. And then 10 by minus 3 is minus 30y. Minus 3 by 10 is minus 30y. And then minus 3 by minus, minus 3y by minus 3y is plus 9y squared. Then plus y squared, this y squared, minus 50 equals 0. Add your y squareds together, I get 10 y squareds. Add your y's together, I get minus 60 y. And add your numbers together, so 100 take away 50 is plus 50. Now use minus b with a equals 10, b equals minus 60, and c equals plus 50. Now when you do that, um, so when you use minus b and solve for minus b, you'll get two answers for y. Now I'm not going to do it here, but it's just the minus b rule. You'll get y equals 1 or y equals 5. So I found two values for y, therefore there should be two values for x. So I find them by using this one, this little equation up here. x equals 10 minus 3y. So when y is 1, x is 10 minus 3 times 1. So just substitute 1 in there. So x equals 7. 10 to go away 3 is 7. So the first point of intersection is 7, 1. And the second point of intersection, this time y is 5. So substitute 5 into this. So minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. 10 to go away minus 15 is minus 5. So the second point of intersection is x is minus 5 and y is 5. So you're going to get a question like that today. So you're going to need to maybe watch this video a number of times. Watch it as many times as you need to. This is a very important question.